Hello, my name is Stephen Mayu, and you're watching the Best JS. In this video series, we're going over the basics of Node.js so that you can be a full stack JavaScript developer. Okay, so we're on challenge number five, filtered LS. Let's jump right into it. And oops, it would help if I focused on my browser. There it is. And uh, if you haven't already, go ahead, pause the video, read the hints and make sure that you understand the challenge. When you have read the instructions and the hints, then come back and continue watching the video. Okay, so this is a really big challenge. We're going to um, basically, um, why do I always say that basically? We're gonna print a list of, of files uh, to the console, but they're gonna be filtered by extension name and uh, Okay, let's stop talking about, let's uh, write some code up. So I'm going to um, write a new file, create a new file, 05, and it's called filtered, uh, filtered ls.js. Okay, and we're gonna pull in a couple of node modules. First one is const fs for file systems to require. Okay, and then we're gonna use another module. It's called path. And it's very useful. It's for um, giving us information about folders and directories and files and all sorts of you know great stuff about that. If you uh, you know if you're unsure if you want to know some more about it, uh, go on here to the uh, come here to the uh, Node uh, documentation and click on Path right here. Tons of uh, methods. Well, not a lot, but uh, a lot of useful methods for um, you know dealing with. Um, you know, path and directories and all that sort of stuff. So anyway, let's call it in const path is require path. Okay, perfect. Now um, we're gonna do a couple of uh, variables just to um, you know clean things up and make it nice and neat. So const, um, we'll say directory, and that's gonna be the first command line argument. Okay, so index two. And then we have the file extension. So const extension, and uh, that is going to be process.argv. Um, but if you recall from the hints, uh, this uh, is not given, um, this does not come with the dot. Um, and we have to add a dot uh, in order to you know, check it. Uh, that's gonna be very useful for uh, filtering our lists. Uh, so let's use a bit of string concatenation and let's just concatenate a dot uh, to, our, um, to our file extension that we're filtering by. And I'm gonna use the back ticks in order to take advantage of ES6 template strings. So um, let me get rid of this. All right, let's just start from the beginning. All right, some back ticks. I'm going to put a dot, and then I'm going to put a dollar sign and a pair of curly braces. And inside here, I can put any JavaScript expression or any um, you know JavaScript variable, and it will evaluate into a string for us. So instead of doing the old string concatenation with like a plus sign, well, we can do it like this. So um, process. The ARGV and three. Okay, perfect. Uh, so we're going to call a file system, read directory. Okay, so we're going to read the contents of a directory and uh, we're going to give it that directory uh, string value. Okay, and then it's going to take a callback function, so with an error, and it's going to respond with a an array, and that array will contain a list, and it will be a list of all the files in this directory. Okay, it's a string. That's all it is. Okay. Okay. And uh, we're just going to run the code really quickly. Console.log list. Let's come here. Let's learn a node. Let's run at 05 filtered ls. Okay, and look at that. This is the console log inside of our callback. It is an array inside our strings, and these are the contents of the file from the uh, first command line argument. Um, so we have uh, a few uh, different extensions in here. We have .md, .html. We have a couple of files with no extensions at all. So um, anyway, let's get back into the code editor. I just wanted to show you the result of uh, this asynchronous function. 
right here. Okay, we got the list. All right, so now we need to filter and um, and uh, filter the list by the extension that's given to us as the second command line argument. So let's use a for each method. So list is an array of strings dot for each. Okay, let's give it another function. Let's uh, say, let's say, um, yeah, so this is a list of file names. So file, right, a fat arrow right here. And uh, let's do a bit of um, checking. So if, all right, and I'm going to use a method from here called extension name. So path.extension or ext name. And I'm going to put in the file name right there. So it's going to return to us the extension of that file, including the dot. So that's why we needed the dot in here. Um, that's why we have to concatenate it uh, to our command line argument. So if the extension name of our file, if it is the same value as our extension uh, argument, okay, then we're just going to log that to the console. We're going to log that file to the console. So I'm going to save it. Okay, let's go to the um, terminal right here. All right, learn your node. And instead of run, we're going to verify. Okay, let's do it. And there we go. Awesome. So really cool stuff right here. Um, so again, we're calling in the FS and path modules. These are native to Node, so no special, um, you know, installation required. And uh, just to make things easier, we're just storing our command line arguments into uh, different variables right here. Um, the uh, command line argument for our extension doesn't come with the dot, so I'm using string templates or template strings rather to concatenate and add a little period right there to the beginning of it. Read directory is an asynchronous function. It takes a directory and a callback function. Uh, and it's a good idea. We didn't do it right here, but always, always, always check for errors. So if there's an error, exit the function and log it out to the console. So with console.error, okay, perfect. And now if there are no errors, we would iterate over that list. And if it is the ex extension that matches the command line argument, we're just going to print it to the file. And uh, sure enough, um, it'll it'll work. Okay, guys. So. Let's stop right here and let's see what we're going to do next in the next video. We are going to do make it modular. Okay, so this one I believe is going to require a couple of files. So that's going to be a lot of fun. All right, let's stop right here and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Boop.